up ladies and gentlemen this is malfunction uh, making a video about uh, auto club revolution for uh, our new LMAO community YouTube channel yeah 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 um, so a lot of people have been having trouble from uh, what I've heard um, on making uh, good-looking decals um, and uh, Rafa uh, is his nickname he uh, gave me the idea or he actually asked me, or whatever, to create a video about how to do decent decals and how this whole system um, actually works and how to use light, utilize it in the right way. Now, this is one I've already been working on, as you can see. Looks pretty good. Still needs decals over here, here. Needs something in the front and the back I haven't done anything about yet. But, well, the main thing about um, the decal system or the graphic system in ACR is it takes time. It takes time to uh, make something, uh, to make it look good, etc, etc, etc. So here we are. Uh, we're using the... I believe this is the Opal. Not sure. Don't really care. Anyway, all these um, um, decals you can unlock with real money, but if you're a player like me, free-to-play player, You'll be using Shapes 1, Shapes 2, and Shapes 3. These are the only ones you have for free, and you can use, and I believe there's actually no layer limit um, to the amount of decals that you can put on here. I'm not really sure about that, but I've got, I think, a couple of hundred, and I haven't reached the limit yet, so you uh, wouldn't reach it uh, really fast. So to start with, uh, the first thing that is really important, um, select your side, of course. And you can click on a shape, and it will automatically add it. As you see, press delete to delete it. You click on it, and it adds the shape. Now you can resize it, of course, whatever you want to. You can rotate it, uh, you name it. Now, that's not the only thing you can do. What you can also do is this. This is skew mode. And this allows you for a little bit more detailed, um, making a little bit more detailed changes to the decal. Hold on, let me show you. So you can select this corner and you can do whatever you want and then as you can see you can create orbs this way or bows or curves is actually the right word. It's not really in the right place. And there you go. Check in free mode. Yeah, looking good. All right. Um, this, of course, is uh, the undo and the redo button that speaks for itself. Uh, this is the copy button. First you copy, then you paste. And you will have the exact same thing pasted. Again, press delete to remove it. Now we come to a very important little part. This, which is the group and ungroup button. Let's say I do a, let's say I do a second decal. Uh, give it a different color. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't really matter. You resize it, or whatever you want. Now, holding left control on your keyboard, you're able to select multiple uh, decals. As you can see, I can now move these as one. This is where the grouping comes in handy. Now, if I will click on this plus button, which says the group button lets you group together multiple decals to manipulate them as one, to select multiple decals, hold control when you click on them. So, again, I've held control, I click this one, and the second decal, click on plus, and now it's a group. As you can see, it can unselect it, select it again, and it will automatically select uh, these two decals. Makes it easier for also for resizing, but overall it makes it uh, easier if you want to create um, small things, like... Well, I'm not going to show you since it takes too long. Anyway... Um, Apart from that, if you would ungroup, um, apart from doing holding control to select multiple, you can also just do this. And you need to go all the way. So, And now we also selected both decals. Okay. Uh, right down there are the layering options. Um, I spawned, or I created this decal before I did this one. Which means that if you would do this, if you would drag them over each other, you'd see that no matter which one I drag, the green uh, circle will always be on top. Now let's say you want this to be behind uh, this one, so the green uh, behind the red. You just press this, go down one layer. You can do the same um, 
for this one of course and you can also just click this one and say one layer on top bottom top etc 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 um next up is the flip horizontal button and the flip vertical button basically this doesn't really do much here as you can see but if you would for instance be out here on the top uh, let me spawn something nice um, it's resizing okay let's say I want this one in the exact position on the other one I can do flip horizontal I flip vertical in this case um, I'm an idiot this is this is absolutely nothing to do with that um, flipping is um, you can't really see it like this. Let's see. Probably can't see it like this. Um, flipping flips the decal. As you can see, flips it uh, vertically, flips it horizontally. Oh, that was stupid. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, it also speaks for itself. Another important thing, uh, let's make this one a group again, is if you've made one side, and you're happy with it you can press this one which is the mirror button and it will mirror it on the other side and now you have the decals on both sides beautiful 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 <coughs> looks like beep but that doesn't matter um, the last thing um, or well one of the last things is the what are these things called the color match icon or tool or whatever Right now I've got the green selected, and this one is red. Now if you would go for more specific colors, you can uh, manually type in these uh, numbers to get the same color, or you just click this, and you'll get the correct red color that is used for this decal. If you want to go back to green, we go back to green. One other small thing I want to show you is if you hold shift while you do resizing, you will resize it as a shape as it is. As you can see, no matter what I do with my mouse, it always keeps the same, um, the same, well, not the same size, but the same aspect ratio, I guess is the right word. If I wouldn't hold shift, you could do this. You can make it an oval. And if I do hold shift, as you can see, it always stays the same. And it doesn't change. Now, apart from that, it is um, to create good-looking decals, uh, you need a little bit of imagination. Um, for instance, uh, if you create a number, like um, I created a 5 earlier, and just because it's easier, I'm just going to create a 5 again. Let's see. So, 5, we start at the bottom. Uh, we want to copy this one, hold Shift make it a little bit smaller and since the car is black we want it to be black and place it roughly in the middle a little bit smaller and a little bit more in the middle since this is obviously not the middle alright good enough um, now this will be the base of the five and of course the five is this this and this so what you can now do is get another rectangular decal put it in here and change it there you go it's already starting to look more like a five it needs to be a tad bit smaller uh, we need the green again so we get the green let's put on another circle uh, I'm not going to do this precisely, it's going to be really beautiful, you know, um, it's just uh, just to, to show you guys. Now the black, as you can see right here, you can still see the edge, it doesn't really match the background. Um, but you can make it match if you just find the exact uh, color that you need. This is also not, uh, not in the right place. Alright, I guess that's good enough. We can just copy this one. Um, rotate it till it's about horizontal. There we go, good enough. Place it on top. Et voila, you have got yourself a five. Not a beautiful one, but um, yeah. Always remember, if you created one, 
uh, group it it also makes uh, the whole engine faster since uh, all of these are if I'm correct right now in one single layer instead of all these decals having a separate layer meaning um, it will really uh, go off your uh, off the speed since if once you get a lot of decals it can take a lot of time to spawn a new shape um, etc etc so keep these groups alive um, if you have uh, another one of these uh, we can do that now because we can copy it here yeah. Right, this one should be underneath. No, okay. Down. I guess this doesn't work. Okay, I'll get this one then. Hello. Hello, it's failing. Oh, it ungrouped it. Oops. Right. This game is in beta, um, so sometimes uh, stuff will go wrong. Like this, I can't even redo the five, which is great. Just delete it then. Uh, anyway, uh, what I wanted to show you is if you copy this to another one, put it here, you can group the entire thing and manipulate it as number 55. Keep making these groups. Um, groups is just the best uh, way to go. And um, yeah, I'd say I uh, wish you guys good luck in making uh, awesome decals. Um, do spend some time on it. Don't give up too easy. It's not in the beginning. It, you're gonna have some problems with it and thinking about what the hell you're doing. Um, but once you get over it, um, right? As you've seen, you know this is a very powerful customization engine. You can do a lot with it, even if you don't have all the decals unlocked uh, by using real money. So. Um, yeah, uh, enjoy ACR, um, join my community, hell yeah, a community called LMEO, uh, you can look it up on uh, lmeo.xippy.co.uk, uh, we always provide the link down below, and um, I'd say check it out if you're interested, um, you can always join, we're just a couple of friends playing games, um, having fun, and um, yeah, I guess that's about it, so uh, good day guys, and uh, good racing.